This is Radio Nepal. I'm Dela Prasai with the news. The headlines first. Ruling parties finalize cabinet expansion. Newly appointed ministers to take oath today itself. Prime Minister Pushpa Kamal Dahal Prachanda calls for an all-party meeting today. Prime Minister Pushpa Kamal Dahal Prachanda expresses his commitment to win the heart of millions of Nepali living abroad. Post-mortem of deceased in Yeti aircraft crash begins. Probe Commission starts investigating cause of the crash. And six people, including an infant, killed in a gun attack at home in California of United States. Now the news in detail. A meeting of the ruling alliance has discussed the matter of cabinet expansion. The meeting was attended by the top leaders of the ruling parties yesterday. The meeting ended finalizing the allocation of ministries. Deputy Prime Minister and Minister for Home Affairs Rami Lami Chani informed that the meeting held at the Prime Minister's residence at Balwatar yesterday finalized the ministerial portfolios to the ruling coalition partners. He said it would be made public only after discussion within the coalition partners today. Names of the ministers would also be made public today. According to him, the oath-taking ceremony has been set for 1 p.m. on today. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Pushpa Kamal Dahal Prachanda has called an all-party meeting today. Prime Minister Pushpa Kamal Dahal Prachanda has said he will win the heart of millions of Nepali people living abroad. Prime Minister Dahal expressed his commitment during a discussion program with representatives of non-Nepali resident association yesterday. The Prime Minister also said that he had tried his best to address the problems of Nepali people living outside during his second term as the Prime Minister, adding that in this term he will try to win the heart of Nepali living outside the country. Post-mortem of the deceased in the Yeti airline plane crash has begun. Kaski District Administration Office says special forensic experts had reached Pokhara and begun the process of setting identification of the deceased. Assistant Chief District Officer of Kaski Guru Datta Dhakal said the bodies would be handed to respective families after the post-mortem. The 46 bodies of those who died in the Yeti Airlines crash in Pokhara are to be brought to Kathmandu. Nepal Civil Aviation Authority has said all the 23 bodies would be handed to the respective families from Pokhara following a post-mortem. Spokesperson of Jagannath Nirola said MI-17 helicopter of the Nepal Army would bring the 46 bodies to Kathmandu. He further said the search for three people who had gone missing in the crash would continue. Meanwhile, issuing a statement... Yet the airline said the bodies would be handed to the family members following a post-mortem. The bodies of the foreigners, the crew members and those whose identities could not be set up there would be brought to Kathmandu. The airline has urged the conference to contact Pemba Sherpa at 9801007531 in Kathmandu, Ram Lamichani at 9802827 Eight eight zero zero in Pokhara if they need it for the information. Likewise, they could contact Harka Ravel at nine eight zero two eight one one two two two, and Sushma Shrestha at nine eight zero two eight one two one 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 if they need it for the updates at hospitals. Meantime, the commission has been formed to investigate the Yeti Airlines plane crash in Pokhara has begun the work. Civil Aviation Authority of Nepal spokesperson Jagannath Nirola said the Plane Accident Investigation Commission has started its work. He further said the plane's black box was found yesterday and the box has already been handed to the commission. 
Meanwhile, a team of insurance surveyors and legal experts have arrived in Nepal to evaluate the Yeti airline plane crash that took place in Pokhara. Nepal Insurance Authority spokesperson Razu Raman Paudel said the surveyor team has come from Singapore and legal experts have come from India. He further said that there would be no issues to clear the insurance amount of the passengers in the crashed plane. Nepal Civil Aviation Authority said each passenger in the airplane has insurance of 20,000 US dollars, although the insurance amount of the crew members would be different as per the airline companies. Deputy Prime Minister and Home Minister Rabi Lamichani has directed the newly transferred Deputy Inspector Generals of Police to work without being affected by external or political influences. Saying the transfers were carried out based on performance, Deputy Prime Minister Lamichani asked uh, the province police chiefs to work on behalf of the people shunning all undue political influences. He further said, now on, no police officer would need to reach the gate of political leaders for transfer and promotion. He asked the officers to stand firmly to safeguard the victims and provide safety to people. The 25th National Earthquake Safety Day was observed symbolically yesterday at the local Bhugul Park as the nation mourned the losses of lives in the Yeti Airlines plane crash in Pokhara. Earlier, the Kathmandu Metropolis Office had scheduled a special celebration of the day at Bhugul Park yesterday in the presence of Home Minister Rabi Lamichani. Chinese ambassador to Nepal Chen Shong paid a courtesy call on Prime Minister Pushpa Kamal Dahal Prachanda yesterday. During the meeting at Balwatar, Chinese ambassador Chen congratulated Prime Minister Dahal on behalf of the Chinese president, the vice president and the Chinese premier. Prime Minister Secretariat said on the occasion the Chinese ambassador pledged China's help for the stability, development and prosperity of Nepal. On the occasion, Prime Minister Dahal thanked China for its cooperation and friendship while extending his best wishes for China. You're listening to Radio Nepal ATM English News Bulletin. We continue with the international updates now. Six people, including a six-month-old baby, were shot dead at a home in California's main agricultural valley on Monday in what authorities called a targeted attack and a horrific massacre. According to Reuters, officials linked the killings to the illegal drug trade, saying deputies had conducted a drug-related search warrant at the same home last week. Authorities responded early on Monday after multiple shots were heard. Some victims were found in the street while others were discovered in the house. One victim was alive and wounded when authorities arrived but later died at the hospital. The attacks occurred in Goshen, a farm community of 5,400 people about midway between Los Angeles and San Francisco. Ukraine insisted on the need for fast supplies of weapons from the west with the central city of Dnipro reeling from a Russian missile strike that killed at least 40 people in an apartment block and Ukrainian troops came under increased pressure on the eastern front. In its Monday evening update, Ukraine's army general staff said Russian artillery pounded around 25 towns and villages around Bakhmut and Avdika, the two focal points of Russian attempts to advance in the strategic eastern industrial Donbas region. Now the general weather forecast for the country for today. Forecasting division says the weather is likely to be partly cloudy in the hilly areas and mainly fair in the rest of the country. There are also chances of light snowfall at one or two places in the eastern and western high mountainous region. Kathmandu's weather report now. Maximum temperature of 16 degrees Celsius and minimum temperature of 4.5 degrees Celsius. 
with this news, we have come to the end of this bulletin. But before we wrap up the headlines once again. Ruling parties finalize cabinet expansion, newly appointed ministers to take oath today itself. Prime Minister Pushpa Kamal Dahal Prachanda calls for an all-party meeting today. Prime Minister Pushpa Kamal Dahal Prachanda expresses commitment to win the heart of millions of Nepali living abroad. Post-mortem of deceased in Yeti aircraft crash begins. Probe Commission starts investigating cause of the crash. And six people, including an infant, killed in a gun attack at a home in California of United States. Well, that's all that we have for this edition. Our next English news edition is at 2 in the afternoon. You can also listen to us online at our website www.radionepal.gov.np for more news and online programs. Stay tuned, stay safe and have a good day.